Look at that, it's the new high-tech X2 multi-charger. Um, just came in the mail today. I'm pretty excited about it. I ordered this from Tower Hobbies and uh, it was actually not available, so I may have one of the one of the first ones of these. It was just released. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. It allows you to charge two batteries at once. Um, so it's got a 100 watt output times two power uh, DC mode. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of its box and then I'll get it set up and, and charge some batteries with it. Let's take a look at this box real quick. Um, does lithium battery balancing, uh, discharge, it says it has maximum safety, program data store and load, battery meter, battery resistance meter, PC control so you can update its uh, software and so forth, and uh, terminal voltage control. So a lot of, a lot of cool features. Um, on the back here, all sorts of information. I'm not going to read all of that, but as you can see, it has an AC input, so you can just plug it directly into the uh, house current. You don't have to have a, an adapter. Um, so let's go ahead and take it out of its box. It's a nice foam pad. There's the manual, and there's the charger. It has a balancing board for the balancing plugs. You can see all those connections. Let's see if I can show you that. There, you might be able to see all the different styles. Looks like it pretty much covers it. Of course, it has the, the balancing plug. Um, have another board here. We have our cord. And we have two charging leads. Now as you notice you have to solder on your own leads, which I'll I'll uh, probably do a video of, of, of that. Probably make this into a couple part video so you don't get bored. <laughs> so uh, here's the charger. Seems to be very well made. It's fairly heavy. There's your different ports, two ports. It has a temperature lead. There's your PC link. Uh, USB connection it has these cool little stands you can stand it up on its end so it's tilted a little more when it sits on the table and there's a cooling fan AC input and then here's your uh, DC 11 to 18 volts so in case you wanted to power it off a car battery or something like that uh, that's pretty much it for the unboxing of it. So I'm going to read the instructions here. They aren't too bad. And then get started charging some batteries. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of this X2 multi charger by High Tech. I'm going to show you some of the things it can, can do. Um, if you notice here, I've got a NICAD battery plugged in. I'm using an adapter to adapt my Traxxas connector to the old Tanmia style connector. Um, I'm trying to revive this battery. This thing is really old and um, I've got it on a slow charge. Um, also I have a nickel metal hydride battery here so you can also charge that on there. And I've got a, a LiPo battery. Uh, so not only that it can charge other types of batteries as well. So Let's uh, zoom in here in just a second and we'll look at the screens. It's basically two chargers in one. Um, so over here you can see this is side uh, A and then this is side B. So I have a charge lead here for a LiPo and the balance board. This comes with the uh, 
charger, of course. And then I have another small balance board over here with some of the more common connectors. Um, and of course, like I said, I'm charging my NICAD. So I'm going to zoom into the screen now and show you some of the features. Alright, so I have a NICAD battery charging here on Charger B, uh, like I was talking about. So I'm going to re reference Charger A. We're going to scroll through the, the menu here. The first battery that we come up to is a LiPo, so of course we can charge those. Then we have the LiFE, LiIO, the LiHV, and I haven't honestly heard of some of these batteries, so it's pretty impressive it has all this these options. Uh, maybe you have some batteries out there that are, are like that. There's just different chemistries of the lithium batteries. Uh, then we have the tried and true nickel metal hydride battery, the NICAD battery, and lead battery. Then we have a, a battery meter, so we can plug a battery in and it will tell us the voltage and I believe the amperage. Uh, we have a battery resistance meter and then we have a system setting and battery memory. That's just a quick overview of some of the features it has. Um, I'm not going to do a huge long and drawn out discussion on this. If you have a specific question regarding this new charger just let me know and I will make a video just addressing that particular question. Um, as you can see the the manual is fairly it's not huge but it is fairly comprehensive in terms of there's there's a lot of features that this uh, charger can do. There's your flow chart for the different uh, programs that it can run. So very very extensive. Um, of course you access it all through these these buttons and scroll through menus. So as an example, let's look at the lithium polymer battery. I'm getting ready to charge this lithium polymer battery right here that I just flew or used in my quadcopter. So let's look at that. So we go in, we can set up, do a LiPo balance charge. We can do a LiPo charge, LiPo fast charge, LiPo storage, LiPo discharge, um, and LiPo balance. So a lot, of, a lot of different charging schemes there for the battery. Once it charges, then it gives you data on, on the screen on, on how it charged. So pretty impressive. Let's scroll down and look at our NICAD battery. If we click on that, we can look at some information regarding that battery. That's how much power we're putting into the battery, 15.1 volts. We have an internal temperature of 38 Celsius. We have a temperature cutoff of 80 centigrade or 176 Fahrenheit. And their safety timer is set at 120 minutes. Uh, capacity cutoff is at 5,000 milliamp hours and uh, so forth. So right now it's charging at 1 amp and the battery is currently at 5.18 volts. And it's been working at it for uh, about almost an hour. Of course, I'm doing a slow charge on it, so um, that's it for now. Uh, I'll keep working with this new charger. I believe I may have had one of the first ones out, um, so I'm pretty excited about that. So hopefully I'll be able to test it out for everyone else, and uh, if I have any problems, I will let you know. But so far, I've been very happy with it. I've had it about mm, two weeks now, and... Um, so we'll just see how it keeps working. So until next time, thanks for watching Project King videos. We appreciate your support. We're getting close to 500 subscribers, which is really awesome. 150,000 views or 180,000 views or something like that, which I, I can't believe. Uh, so that's really great. Um, we appreciate your support and we'll keep making videos.